Welcome back, sports fans. Mike Kretz here. Hey, here at KREX, we try to not bury the lead. That's why I'm telling you, CMU had their home opener tonight at Stoker. Let's get right to your extended highlights. CMU's band out in full force for just an absolutely beautiful day for football. We call this a beauty shot in the biz. CMU getting ready for battle. Early, we told you Eastern loves to run that option. The fake handoff fools me and gives quarterback Wyatt Strand a lane to run through. Brought down by Darian Turner. Later, pitch out to Johnny Smith. He breaks the jersey tackle and gets an extra six yards for his effort. And then the handoff to Paul Terry. And how is this for a stop? Mason Newton there with a solo tackle. My back hurts just watching that. So the Greyhounds get stopped on their first drive, but end up do putting the first points on the board by way of field goal. Ref says it's good. So EMU up three early on on the ensuing kickoff. Eastern kicks it to Isaac Salazar, and he is looking to make something happen. He finds the lane and hits it hard. He is off to the races, folks. It looks like only one man to beat, but the kicker, Michael DeLeon, takes the correct angle and eventually makes the touchdown saving tackle. And how does the Greyhounds 30 sound for starting position? But then on the hand, off to Isaac Mastis as a Greyhound comes missling in, knocks the ball loose, and Eastern falls on top of it. Tough break for CMU. Here's something to talk about. The first pass to Johnny Smith. He drops it, but watch the hit. Oh, and in football circuit 2019, that's a penalty for hitting defenseless receiver. Can't do that anymore. But it's fumbles galore early. This time it's Paul Terry's turn to cough up the ball. Nigel Hale, right place, right time there to scoop it and get the turnover for the Mavs. And they take over. Aaron Howard in the game at quarterback looking to find Bradley Toussaint, and he gets taken down so super close to that goal line. Can the Mavs punch it in? Well, this next play will show us. This time, Howard finds junior KJ Sapp in there. You have it. The first touchdown of the season at Stoker here in 2019. Could get used to seeing that. Mavs up 7-3. to three. And how is this for gang tackling? That D-line and outside linebacking squads starting to catch up to that, off, that option offense. And into the second quarter we go. Here's something the Mavs weren't looking for. Strand with the fake pitch. Ops to throw instead. And if you are waiting for safety help to come into your picture, you're going to be waiting a long time. He finds Zachary Fields and he takes it down to the Old Town Road and puts the Greyhound back up on top 10 to 7. And like I said, at 6, expect to see multiple quarterbacks in the game as Hayden Bollinger decides to show off his legs. He scrambles right for the first down, but that drive would stall out too. Mass forced to punt. And right before the half, the Greyhounds were looking to score. Stand, Strand looking to throw again, finds Zachary Fields. Zachary Fields in man-to-man -man coverage. A nice touchdown saving tackle by Daniel Zimbrano. So with 12 seconds on the clock, Eastern trying to put themselves up by 6, but the field goal attempt is blocked by Justin White. Ball spins loose, and the Mavs would recover right before the half. So going into the locker, it was 10 to 7. But how about the final? Let's check the full screen. Here we go. Well, would you look at that? Eventful highlights, but an even more eventful second half as it is tied at the end of regulation. Quick, get to your computer and get that stream going. 37 to 37. The comeback Mavs were down big, but scored three consecutive touchdowns to make it a game. 